the cloud framework is defined by the international telecommunication union itu t uh, in the form of y series so uh, we wouldn't go into too much of details because uh, uh, these are documents after documents but uh, we'd quickly look at the y series and we just look at some of the names uh, as key documents and then we'll see what are the recommendations in terms of deployments by itut and what are some critical cross cutting aspects that is aspects which have to be taken care of and then service categories and corresponding service requirements so what is y series after x comes y series x series actually deals with a uh, general guidelines regarding the itification of infrastructure but y series is particular to um um cloud the global information infrastructure internet protocol aspects and next generation networks are all dealing with y series particularly in y.3500 to y.3999 uh is the range of documents which are dealing with a uh, a uh, cloud essentially so y.3500 is a very basic document that gives the uh, the 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 glossary or the vocabulary for uh, uh, for for cloud computing some key characteristics are defined and roles and activities are defined and then uh, y.3501 defines the framework and the high level requirements uh, let's look at some key documents i have taken it from uh, the itu2 documentation so we have the x series I, i was mentioning recommendations for security security framework for cloud computing um recommendation for uh, uh, security techniques the uh, uh, best practice code for information security controls uh, then we have uh, already discussed 3500 3500 and 3502 deals with the, the reference architecture uh 3510 is uh, uh, the infrastructure requirement for cloud computing uh then for inter cloud uh, computing that is coordination between the two clouds we have 3511 uh 3512 deals with the uh, uh, network as a service functional requirements 3513 deals with the uh, infrastructure as a service functional requirements i'm just naming these because uh, uh, they these are dedicated documents and depending upon the implementer the uh, service provider or the cloud provider uh, they are going to refer to a certain document and they are going to make sure that their document uh, their implementation is as per the itut recommendation uh, so let's continue we have 3520 uh, for the end to end resource management uh, 3521 for the end to end cloud computing management uh, i'm just going to mention the last one that is uh, uh, cloud computing based requirements for big data uh, so it means that uh, these are some of the documents but as i said we have a complete range so if you really want to appreciate the 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 efforts which have been put in by the itut community uh, these documents are publicly available on the itu website um the the itut framework also defines the our uh, deployment models we could have public clouds private community or hybrid clouds public clouds are where anybody like myself or you could subscribe to the cloud services um like uh, we know we have uh, amazon uh, and microsoft azure uh, and aws kind of amazon services uh, which are available as cloud services for all of us to access then we have private cloud which is for a dedicated community um, uh, the customers are responsible for maintaining the cloud themselves because it's their own private cloud then we have a community cloud which involves a certain dedicated community like scientists uh researchers um for instance uh, um people who are working in uh mining sector uh, automobile sector they have they could have their own community based cloud which is application specific or business specific cloud then we could have a hybrid that's a combination of 
either of the above. Uh, then certain cross-cutting aspects are important. Uh, I'll just name these and quickly go over these. Auditability means something that is retractable, that could be traced. So any transaction that takes place on cloud has to be retractable through certain logs. Then we have the availability requirement in terms of three nines up to five nines. Then governance is basically the control of execution, revocation, and uh, management of cloud services. Interoperability means that uh, a certain cloud provider has to provide interoperability to certain end hosts, operating systems, etc. Then maintenance and version control is something which is highly desirable because uh, a cloud, good cloud has to keep itself updated for any uh, service packs or any uh, uh, patches or any um, uh, update then performance has to be measured for certain against certain performance indicators like throughput uh, response time uh, uh, customer specific uh, uh, quality of, quality of service parameters then portability means that a, a, a client has to be given the option uh, to uh, to move from one place to the other while maintaining the same uh, service level with the uh, cloud provider then personally identify, identifiable information has to be protected, usernames, passwords, other security credential, credentials like your bank account details, etc. Uh, then regulatory aspects of certain countries have to be respected. Uh, so it means if AWS by Amazon has to operate in Pakistan, they have to be uh, agreeing to respect the regulatory aspects in Pakistan. Then resiliency means the, the ability to recover out of any failure like power outage, service outage, or software failure, etc. Reversibility is once a client or a customer is done with uh, the uh, service availing, uh, then the service subscription has to be revoked. So all the information has to be deleted. So the customer is uh, certain or sure that his information is now not going to be abused. Then uh, security aspects have to be taken care, like uh, certain DOS attacks could take place. And then uh, some contractual obligations have to be respected uh, in which a client requests for a certain platinum, gold, silver service, etc. cetera. Um, let's look at uh, some service categories and cl uh, cloud uh, capabilities type. The service categories could be computing as a simple service, uh, communication, data storage, infrastructure, um, network as a service, platform or software as a service. Let's take one odd example. Let's take compute as a service. If computing is only required, it means that no certain operating system platform is, is in required. No certain application has to be used. Only the infrastructure uh, has to be uh, used. The infrastructure could be the, the, the computing resource, the processing power uh, expected out of the cloud. Then we could we can think about the uh, network as a service and uh, data storage as a service, which essentially require to incorporate the capabilities uh, like infrastructure has to be incorporated, the platform has to be there, and the application has to be uh, utilized. So it means that the service categories are going to determine the cloud capabilities which have to be provisioned by the cloud provider. Certain Emerging cloud service categories are also on the rise. Let's look at certain names. For instance, we have database as a service. Uh, we could have desktop or email as a service, identity management or security as a service. Uh, something, let's look at the email as a service. We all are using email like Gmail or uh, uh, mail.com from Microsoft or Yahoo Mail, or we have our own email servers in our universities, in our official uh, setups like offices, etc. Now, how could we think of cloud email as a service? Now, this service is going to be a very thorough, complete service in which we have the customer uh, who is interested in getting all the features related to email like storage, acknowledgements, transmission, backup, recovery of emails, not for a single email provider like Gmail, but for all the email services that a client is interested in for an organization. Now, if that has to be provided, 
Gmail wouldn't take care of Microsoft mail server, MSN, which would in also not take care of Yahoo mail services. So if you really want to have all of these under one uh, system in terms of management, we need to subscribe to email as a service. Uh, with this, I think we are now ready to go deeper into the cloud-related aspects.